Hi there. Today's question is, who is being referred to by the term wisdom in Proverbs chapter 8 verses 22 to 30? Let us have a quick look at the verses. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were no depth, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abiding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the earth, while he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. That's verses 22 to 30. Contextually, the I in these verses refers to wisdom. So is this talking about the attribute of wisdom or about somebody else? I don't believe scripturally, contextually, or logically we can conclude that this is referring to an attribute. Just think about it. The text clearly states that wisdom was possessed or brought forth at a certain point of time in the days of eternity before anything was created. If the text is referring to the attribute of wisdom, then by implication we are saying that before that point of time God was not wise or did not possess the attribute of wisdom. A closer look at the passage with its surrounding context proves this verse is talking about the Son of God who is the wisdom of God. Notice how Jesus is referred to as the wisdom of God in these verses. In Luke 11:49, we read, Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles and so forth. Compare this text with Matthew chapter 23 and verse 24. Also in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24 and 30, we read, But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. He goes on to say, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. With this in mind, please notice how in Proverbs, wisdom is spoken of as the giver of life and death the giver of wealth and security, the source of wisdom, counsel, understanding, and strength, the source of government, rulership, and authority, the source of happiness, the source of revelation, the one who is to be sought after, found, and called, the one who loves and is to be loved, the one who calls to men and seeks for them, the one who leads in the way, Furthermore, in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 30, we read, Then I was by him as a master workman. I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Contextually speaking, this is referring to the time of creation. The point of the text is that during the work of creation, I, wisdom, was there as a master workman, or as the word means, architect or skilled workman. Notice what we read later on in Proverbs chapter 30 who has ascended up into heaven and descended, who has gathered the wind in his fist, who has bound the waters in his garment, who has established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou knowest? Again, while making reference to the work of creation, the author attributes creation to two individuals and identifies them by relationship as a father and son. Hence, according to this text, the master workman that was with God during creation is his son. The New Testament confirms this to us in many places as you see on the screen. The context of the book of Proverbs, especially chapter 8, and the larger context of the Bible proves to us that this wisdom spoken about in Proverbs 8 is the son of God whom we have come to call Jesus. So as you can see in this chapter, it is Jesus who is speaking under the title of wisdom. Don't forget to send your questions in and God bless.